so uh, dear viewers second part of our column design is that so uh, what we'll do actually in that lecture i'll just show that how we'll uh, create the detailing and uh, by using that data also i will create manual detailing in autocad okay and uh, but before that i'm just showing you that how we'll use that software perfectly because this is the most powerful software for detailing for bbs for uh, bar bending i mean bill of quantity so here uh, if we see you are able to see the main reinforcement here and for link we are seeing that everywhere we can use 10 mm bar at 10 mm bar at the spacing of 250 mm okay i mean 10 inch okay so everywhere we are able to use that spacing right and uh, the main reinforcement what is the main reinforcement actually here so we are saying the main reinforcement so uh, for column c3 c3 i mean for column c3 everywhere from top to bottom we can see that we can use uh, 16 mm bar 6 16 mm bar everywhere for c8 column also uh, 16 mm for c3 c8 it's also number uh, 6 16 mm bar and uh, for from here I'm seeing that from column C11, C12, C13, and for C14, we can use 8, 16 mm bar. Okay, everywhere, 8, 16 mm bar from top to bottom. And again, uh, here for that column, C14, also like that. So for 14, also 8, 8 16 mm bar. And for C15, we can see that the 10, we can use 16 mm 10 bar okay top to bottom with spacing i have already discussed and here uh, for number I and mean for column 5 and column 6 and also column 17 we can use 12 mm i mean 16 mm 12 bar 12 number bar okay and again uh, for here for that bar uh, sorry for columns 16 10 16 mm bar like that you you can understand and here we can see that for column uh, c9 for column c9 okay and they have any on no so for column c on we can see that for a base to ground floor we have to use four we have to use four 19 or 420 mm bar and or 19 mm bar or 20 mm bar or 4 uh, 4 16 mm bar okay so we have to use that bar so what we'll actually we will not use that bar only for base we will uh, use that bar till our uh, history 1 and after that we will use 8 to 8 16 mm bar so see and here 6 uh, 16 mm uh, 16 mm bar and here 6 16 mm bar so everywhere we are seeing that our reinforcement this is the uh, simple reinforcement detailing okay so when it's done when it's done after that we'll go for we'll just click a report and if you need that text file then what you can do that simply uh, for non-ductile type 2 schedules you can create and you can save and uh, for that file also uh, if you need you can save that no problem or you can redesign also okay so when it's done actually what we'll do i'll just go for report then here detailed drawing here detailed drawing clear so here we'll use our detailed drawing option but before that before that you can change setting for the see here detailing and drawing setting so come here and uh, here actually uh, nothing to change okay nothing to change we can uh, take default but for your case you can change that and uh, for mark you can use that mark that also you can uh, maintain that as per your requirement okay for share also you can change that it's showing uh, in share okay it's showing four leg okay in this four means four leg four legs strap type okay so if you want you can give here 
L E G S. Just see four legs. Now uh, 10 mm four legs 10 mm bar at the rate of 120 center to center. You can write write that. Okay. Uh, you can use 10 mm uh, dia bar like that. You can use that. So I will take lay leave it default. Okay. And here dia bar you can use 5 or anything if you have so i'll just simply cancel i will not click okay okay and river expenses so it's okay it's also okay and location at mid height okay location at mid height it will be okay also okay uh, at mid height or at top of slab so we'll use mid height and from where you want to take your location of slab at mid height or at top of slab so it's up to you actually as per the design requirement so i think uh, it's okay so i'll click okay so when it's done after that again i'll give a report and here detailed drawing okay so for detailed drawing i'll simply click here for detailed drawing just see uh, how quickly and how nice it will give you a detailed drawing for your all of that column so for which column you want to select and from which level to which level so i mean i want to take from base to terrace and for all columns i have to take okay i have to take for all columns or if you want that you can uh, you can only okay I, i'm just showing you for only one or two column because it will save our time and for your time you can select all of all of that column so i'm selecting for two columns so i'm just select clicking okay i'm uh, taking all column no problem okay and again wait for some time it will creating a detailed drawing for us actually uh, see here how powerful tools it is how quickly it's have provided you a detailing file and if you just come here okay it's giving us and here uh, the scaling scale is available column and wall schedule okay for uh, from a base to a ground floor here the reinforcement six 16 mm bar okay six 16 mm bar c and here is the column dimension also and also here the link or east up okay this is the link or east up uh, 10 mm okay 10 mm at the rate of 250 mm center to center of a link and here the two types of link have used here that are also available okay two types of link used that are also available and here the clear cover also available here the concrete type and uh, reinforcement type that both are available here so for every case you can see here for every case you see how nice it's have created detailing for our structure and which types of uh, history of use here just see which types of history of here for that one is also showing okay so for all of our column in base they have two types of reinforcement i'll just find out that just see here they have two types of reinforcement also it is giving you a clear knowledge here okay it is giving you a clear knowledge see uh, 16 here uh, 16 mm bar this is the sign of 16 mm bar the 4 16 mm bar and uh, 19 mm bar the out corner bar they have used as 19 mm bar so just see actually there are nothing to modify here nothing to modify here just will be able to directly apply that sheet for your field work clear so uh, this is this is for a uh, detailing okay that was for detailing so i'll save that for further use okay i'll save that file for further use so here uh, detailed drawing and here the column design so here the detail uh, drawing okay, so wait for some time and by clicking that save option i'll simply save that file so i'll click save and here in column i'll just column column detailing okay column detailing i'll just save that file here as a column detailing so i have saved that after that suppose you need to see the elevation view of that column so what i'll do actually 
आई जस्ट सिंपली काम है यू हैव टू क्लिक इलेवेशन और यू कैन क्लिक हर प्रोजेक्ट सेटिंग ओके सो फॉर प्रोजेक्ट सेटिंग यू कैन सी दैट व्हाट इस वैल्यू व्हाट इस दैट एक्चुअली एवरीथिंग इस अवेलेबल हियर सो आई विल जस्ट डिलीट दैट एंड आई विल जस्ट गो सॉरी आई विल जस्ट काम हियर एंड आई विल क्लिक इलेवेशन एंड फॉर व्हाट आई Suppose uh, if you want to see elevation for wall, then you can click wall. Otherwise, actually it will. Okay, no problem. I'll take in elevation for wall, and here also they have option detailing and drawing setting. You can change that from here, if you need. Okay, so I'll just close and I have selected wall. Then click OK. So we have to wait for some time. It's uh, creating column elevation for us, and after that we'll see the bargaining schedule, and also we'll see our bill of quantity. So it's gonna be very interesting. And see here, the wall, the wall elevation view have created here, all elevation view, and see for that column. For that column, I will not zoom at now. So for that column, it's giving a one cross-sectional view because everywhere reinforcement are same. But here, it's giving you two cross-sectional view because they have some difference. They have some difference in they have some difference in the reinforcement because in bottom they have used four types of reinforcement, two types of reinforcement, but top. And here you can see the detailing. Okay, see you can see the detailing, just like that. See here, everything is available. Here the sign of uh, this is the sign of our slab. This is the sign of our beam here. Okay, so see everything is available. Actually, what do you need actually here? Okay. What do you need actually? Here, everything is available, right? So uh, I hope it's also done, okay? And also I'll save that file for our AutoCAD work for further AutoCAD work. So I'm saving that file. So it's for wait for time, wait for some time. As I'm screening, that's why it's giving huge pressure to my PC. So what will be that value? C O L U M column. Column elevation. Okay. So this is for column elevation. So I'll simply save it. So I've saved that. When it is done, now we have to go for bar bending schedule. The most important part of that work. Bar bending schedule. Okay, so we'll go for bar bending schedule, and um, here, sorry, from that option here BBS. Okay, from that option BBS, I'll click here. Then River Tag Manager. You can use that option to change that setting. Otherwise, generate BBS, generate bar bending schedule. I'll simply click here. And here you are seeing that the minimum river length. What is the minimum length of your river? What is the minimum length of your river you are buying from market? Suppose it's 12 meters. So for your country, what you have to select here? Estate river number one and river length round off five millimeter. Every five millimeter it will use the river round off. And this is the material type okay and here river numbering by element river notation okay that is okay and if you if you want to take that uh, a spreadsheet also for that I mean excel file you can take it from he here okay and also if you need a drawing you can click that option so I will 
take a, a spreadsheet also so here and the number of eats that's the one and uh, detailing and drawing setting is the same as our previous you can select from here as per requirements so i'm not using that option at now after that you have to provide a location for that so i'm providing a location say so the in column dbs okay so i'll save okay and i'll simply click here generate please select the element of oh, sorry so here we have to select for which column we want to create our bbs so actually uh i'm selecting for one for your case you can select okay i'm selecting wow every time i'm just like that i'm telling you that i'm selecting one but i'm selecting every then simply click generate and wait for time it's clear creating bbs 